All right, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a slice text effect in Canva. First thing you wanna do is type out the word you want to slice, and then you're gonna go to your elements tab, and you're gonna find a line that's going to act as the slice. One thing I wanna mention before I start here is this basic line is pretty cool because you can actually make it longer and everything without it changing its thickness because you can manually change the stroke of this line. So keep that in mind if you you end up having trouble resizing your lines depending on the word you're trying to slice. I'm gonna use this line right here. I'm gonna change it to white so I can see what I'm doing better. And then we're gonna resize it. As I was mentioning, when you resize the line, it also increases the thickness of most of the lines here. So if you need to, you can use a basic straight line that I showed you. All right, now that we have it in position, we're going to change the color of the line to the same color as the background. And then we're gonna go ahead and download this image. Now you do that just by going to share and down to download. Make sure you do not check transparent background because we need it to have this blue color as the background. I'm gonna go ahead and make another page. I already re-uploaded that design. We're gonna go ahead and change the second page to white just so I can show you what's happening. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring that image in. I'm gonna go to edit image and then I'm gonna click on background remover and it's gonna remove all of that blue, which is why we made the line the same color as the background because the background remover was going to pick the line up as part of the background and remove it. The background remover tool is a pro feature. So if you want a free month trial of Canva Pro, my affiliate link is in the description. So feel free to check that out. Because we use the background remover on this, we can just put whatever background we want and it will show in between the letters where that slice is. So even if we use an image, it works the same. Another thing I will mention about this is if you were to edit your image and put a shadow on it, it would actually readjust that bounding box to just where there's actually something in the image. So keep that in mind. I think that's pretty helpful when designing. But feel free to like and subscribe if this helped you and check out my other Canva videos. I will link the Canva playlist in the video at the end. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!